Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. This is WX Ninja it's checking in with you October 9th, 2019. Well, the big storm is starting. Uh, as you can see, this is the Euro. You see the front right here starting to drop down. Uh, we're seeing some snow already in places. Cold, cold morning. Um, lots of different things going on. Our friends over at the old uh, Weather Channel <clears throat> have named this Winter Storm Aubrey. So first winter storm they've named of the season. Uh, and you can see why it's going to be a cold one as it drops down uh, <clears throat> This is not the latest run and the latest run is not done yet. So that's why we're on this one uh, We will look at the latest one though for the first three frames So as we go through time here, here's 24 hours uh, You can see just coming down. It's all in Montana Oregon, Idaho uh, It's gonna be a pretty potent system like we talked about It just keeps coming keeps coming some cold air coming down out of Canada and then into the middle of the country and then it heads off to the east it retreats a little bit here in the middle part of the country but still a lot cooler than it is now and there you go ends up up there back up in Canada kind of in the Great Lakes region uh, still talking about two to three feet of snow for the uh, northern North Dakota and uh, northwestern uh, Minnesota two to three feet possible in some areas you know there's gonna be blizzard like conditions with this uh, with all the wind you can see some tightly packed isobars in here so it's gonna get windy so let's go back um, to the newest run it's out to 96 now okay so it's good um, and we'll take a look at this one this is the European model by the way Pretty much same thing, just comes down. Go has it going a little further south, maybe on this frame. The last one, um, still real strong though. Real strong. See all the tightly packed isobars is going to be windy in there, <clears throat> and then it heads off. One thing I do want to mention with this is out ahead of this, you're going to see some some storms in here in the northern plains. Um, so just keep an eye out. It may not be tornadic, but just flooding, you know, flash flooding and lightning and high winds. Um, you know, that, that's going to push on a couple days here uh, as this, you know, you have this big clash of warm and cold air. So it's perfect for that. Excuse me, let's take some water there. Um, so just keep an eye out if you live in the Plains area. Um, you know, people there are real, real versed in this. They're used to it. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, another thing we're looking at here is the low off the coast. There's two of them. Um, they become one. Northeast here, you're going to get hammered for three, four days um, uh, with this. Uh, looks like something got messed up here on this run. I'm not sure what they got going on here, but let me change this. Um, we'll look at our temperatures first. So one thing to note too is uh, like today in Denver, they're going to be about 80 degrees. Tomorrow, they'll be 15 degrees in the morning. So huge, huge difference. Um, we were talking about that yesterday, but huge difference. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, so this is the GFS model. We'll go back to uh, right when it initialized. Yeah, you can see it just advancing. I mean, look, 46 and 60, just, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good pressure or uh, temperature difference. <clears throat> you see it blasting on through. We'll take this one out to the end and we'll see kind of what the pattern's going to be like. Yeah, even though we're getting pretty far out in the future, we're almost to 10 days out. Looks like things kind of calm down, and then maybe you get another front coming through. You see it getting cold in the Intermountain West region there in the Rockies and all that. Which tells me it's probably going to be snow covered. We're going to get some colder air from the north. But nothing too cold. I mean, look at these temperatures. 60s, 40s, 50s. I mean, if this holds true, who even knows? so far out in the future. These are lows.
Yeah, if this model run were to, were to be true, I mean, there's nothing really, there's nothing to write home about. It's pretty mundane weather, <clears throat> but doubtful it'll happen like that, that far out in time. Okay, let's go back to the, um, uh, what did I want to look at here? Let's go back to right here. So this is the wind. Uh, 850 mill. Uh, it's about a little less than 5,000 feet, I believe. The wind and knots in the MSLP, which is MSLP's moisture. So you can see a lot of moisture here. Um, so let's make sure this is where we want it. You have your two lows, so we'll look at those first. To get it, the southern low gets absorbed into the northern low. And you can see if you live on the east coast, you're going to have a windy, stormy, rainy, wet, cool weekend and not cool in the terms of hey that's cool um so now we'll watch uh we'll watch it come down out of the north here um you can see it here see the front associated there so look at how it just blows up right there and sticks around so that's how you get your two to three feet of snow uh, you get the moisture just training over the same area. Basically, the low stalls out right there for a little bit, and it starts to eject out of the area. That's why. Um, sorry. I want to look at one more thing for you guys. Where is it? <clears throat> Um, no, we did the temps. I was going to show you one more thing here um, that can really uh... so this is another way you can look at this. Uh, this is the precip, six hour average precip <clears throat> and then the thickness and, um, the thickness, you know, it just tells you it lets you know how, how bad the storm's gonna be, basically. But you can see, I mean, look at the tightly packed isobars. You can see how windy it's gonna be in there as this fret's coming through. So it's gonna be stormy in the plains and it's gonna be snowy up north. Uh, like I said, it's already starting. Same thing, just look at that low and then it just kinda, it kinda opens up and just dies. But it's going to be pretty potent. Looks like maybe some tropical development here off the uh, west coast of Mexico. Interesting. Goes up into the Four Corners region. And then disappears. Could be good for them. I know there's a huge fire threat going on over here right now. Red flag warnings and all that. Uh, just the Santa Anans are... Santa Anas, not Anins. Santa Anas are picking up. So it's getting that time of year. Um, you know, so you got to be real careful out there with the fire danger. So seeing some moisture come up like that, as long as it doesn't bring any lightning with it, that could be really, really good news for those areas. Um, California, Nevada, up into the four corners. Doesn't go much into California, though. But you got a system right here coming. That holds true. That'd give them some rain. But, uh, what hour is this? Dude? Man, look at this low come through. If you watch this low here, right, we saw it comes into the four corner regions. And look at it redevelop. Boom, right here. One developed. 986 low. That's pretty strong. Look at that pressure gradient. That's pretty strong. Nine, it gets down to 977. Gee, many Christmas. So that's a pretty strong low right there. Um, it's pushing off to the north, so it's not going to be a snowmaker. It's going to be rain and stormy, probably thunderstorms again. But this is, again, 20 days away. Um, or not 20, sorry. I don't know math. It's a little less than, uh, or a little more than 10. It's about 11 days away. Um, so probably won't happen, but 
Still cool to look at. Like I said yesterday, you just look for trends. Once you start getting the trends, then you forecast, then you can you can uh, really narrow things down. So that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate everyone watching. Again, WX Ninja. Uh, if you uh, want to subscribe and click the bell icon, that'll let you know as soon as I make a video. You can come check it out uh, for the weather-related stuff or anything else you want to see on my channel. All right, everyone, have a good day. Take care.